Hour number two of Inside Training Camp Live. Coming your way from the home of the defending NFC champion, San Francisco 49ers. I see you. They were working in front of their crowd. They have just wrapped up practice. Hello. Hi. You can see them on NFL Network as they have their preseason opener against the Tennessee Titans. I am guessing this guy will not be playing in that game. <laughs> but the coach hasn't told me anything. Nick Bosa, has he told you anything? He has not told me anything. Um, I know as much as you. So we'll okay. see. Do you like playing in preseason games just to get a little feel for it? I never have. So I have no. no you have nothing to base it off of. <laughs> so we'll take that as a no. I guess you can okay. say that. And you had a Veterans Day today. I did. Okay. Yeah. And we, a, those are good things for you? or Yeah, no. Uh, we have a good plan, and uh, I'll be ready for week one for sure. When you don't play in preseason, I mean, this is just explained to a lot of folks who may not understand this. Like, don't guys need to get a feel? Don't they need to practice tackling? Things like that. What is the kind of ramp up that you have to get into just for the physical part of it, just to step out there day one and make sure you're firing and, you know, real precisely? Yeah, I mean, just just slowly building up that mountain is what uh, Dustin, our, our strength coach, calls it. And um, you have to get in football shape. There's no doubt about it. Um, but slowly integrating things and for, especially for guys who played a 20 game season last year right um you have to be smart and but you have to build the callus as they say and um there's things that that need those football movements to be ready to go week one and be able to be resilient through the whole year you guys had a lot of changes on that defensive front this year and there are some people that feel like it's more talented in fact you might be playing on the opposite side of perhaps the most talented guy you've had in Leonard Floyd in terms of a pass rusher. What sort of relationship have you guys built here in the early going? It's been great. Uh, it started during mini camp and the end of OTAs, uh, just being around the guys a little more. And uh, obviously a lot of new faces. Me and Kevin are the only guys um, left since 2019. So a lot of turnover. Um, but it's been great to get to know uh, Flo and uh, Malik and Jordan and uh, Ye, all the new guys, we're building good chemistry, and I think we'll be we're as talented as ever. So we have a good, uh, good potential. So we'll see. But the most talented that you've had on this defensive front, in your opinion? Uh, yeah, I mean, I'd say so. It's it's up there. Uh, we've had really talented groups, though. So it's all about what you do on Sunday. So the guiding hand for all this, of course, is Nick Sorensen, who gets promoted to defensive coordinator. What about the decision to have, you know, somebody that you guys were familiar with? And, and what has he shown to kind of fill into that role? Um, I think he's just he's very familiar with how the front ties into the backers and ties into the back end. Um, and really knowing each layer of the defense um, and the scheme, uh, like really knowing it and knowing how everything works together is – is important and I think um, he's, he's just being himself he's not trying to be different he's 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 a great leader and he's added some new wrinkles that I think are going to be uh, really helpful for us okay Nick um, you guys lost for the second time in the, in the Super Bowl do you watch that tape is there anything you can learn from it do you burn it um I watched it randomly one off season day late late in the off season i don't know why i just pulled out my ipad and checked it out um and i mean it's a football game you could learn from any game um so yeah but uh it's, it's after you watch it once it's time to move on for sure so the big news out here us coming out is the situation with brandon Ayuk. um we know that you some other players have been in these these situations but as a teammate I mean, how do you guys kind of handle a lot of that conversation as to whether he's going to be here or not? Um, it's it's tough when you're in the building um, and he is around and, and dealing with it every day. So I feel for him. Um, it's obviously a good, I told him it's a good issue to have, but it's also a lot more stressful than you'd realize. And it was stressful for me and I wasn't even here. Uh, so I couldn't imagine seeing everybody every day and, and having that extra pressure on you. So I feel for him, but um, I think for the team, he knows everybody's got his back and it's part of the business side of things. But um, just it's not up to us to talk about it. I'll talk to him if he needs somebody to 
to talk to, but I'm I'm not going to be talking about it with other guys and stuff like that. Give us though, some perspective on what it was like for you last year to be away from the guys you love going to battle with. You said it, that it was ex- as tough as you've had. It was brutal. It was really brutal. The uncertainty, and especially as it boils down to, to week one, it was one of the hardest things I've gone through. And um, But when it's over, it's a great feeling, and you get to to do what you love to do without any of that pressure of obviously you want to live up to the to the number but um but yeah that it's good to put it behind you for sure sure. all right best of luck stay healthy this season we'll see you week one that monday nighter against aaron Rodgers. it'll be a ton of fun nick bosa thanks for the time